There was a little bit of, of space smell in the vestibule, and then when we got uh, that hatch open, you could tell it was a brand new vehicle with uh, smiley faces on the other side, smiley face on mine, just as if you had bought a new car, the same kind of reaction. Wonderful to see my friends and wonderful to see a brand new vehicle. One of the things I was most excited about was being able to make a phone call home, you know, with it's been a long time since I launched into orbit and I've got a little boy who got a chance to watch me do that for the first time in his life and I just wanted to understand what his experience was and share that a little bit with him while it was still fresh in his mind. He was able to make the trip back to Houston after watching the docking from down in Florida and was pretty excited about the, the whole thing. So that was uh, wonderful for me. The short answer is Chris had it right on the hatch where we left it nine years ago. And uh, it's right here. And I think he's got a note, do not forget to take uh, with Crew Dragon. So uh, depending on how long we stay up here, can, uh, you can bet we will take it with us when we depart back to Earth. Um, from that standpoint, I think, you know, we have talked about this uh, flag before many times over the last uh, nine years since we left it here on SGS-135. And I think the important point is, is, as I said before, just returning launch capability to the United States to and from the International Space Station. And uh, that's what this flag really means. And and I think a little bit more, it's it's to the thousands of people that made it possible.